Yo, welcome back everybody to Rain Peach Live Obsidian Flames deck video, and today we're looking at a really cool Arceus Regigigas V-Star deck that got top 8 in one of the most recent late night tourneys that had over 200 players in it. Now, shout out to Physics AP for the list. This deck is all about using Arceus V-Star with Gigas as your backup attacker, but it does have some other really cool tricks in it that I will show off in today's video. But yeah, Regigigas V-Star, I haven't done a video on this card in a while. I did play it in a Wigglytuff deck not too long ago, but by itself, as it's like one of the main attackers, I haven't done that in a while, but we are finally going to do it again with its attack giga impact that is 230 damage and then during your next turn this pokemon cannot attack now we can offset that with the power of charon's care and jet energy which allows to kind of use it as a pivot for the attack and of course it is a very tanky pokemon having a whopping 300 hp does actually help a lot against giratina v star which a lot of the time is only doing 280 damage and that's not enough to kill gigas especially if you put a v guard energy on gigas it effectively has like 330 hp making it even harder to knock out now another really cool card in this deck is the radiant greninja poppy combo now poppy allows you to move up the two energy from one of your pokemon to another one of your pokemon so if we put two water energy into play we can poppy to the greninja attach an energy to it especially a jet energy which is the big one and then out of nowhere we can moonlight shuriken the opponent this is really good against lost zone variants and any deck that evolves pokemon if the opponent doesn't bench manaphy which a lot of the time when you're playing against arceus you're not really benching manaphy and that's huge for radiant greninja and then i'll just come out of nowhere with a moonlight shuriken knockout and that is really cool and then of course with the bibble scoven engine we can make anything happen as we're able to draw quite a few cards every single turn so this deck has tank heal has some cool plays with gigas and has the ability to use poppy greninja this deck is pretty sick and has a lot of different plays that it can make before we do end the video show too the sponsor card cavern tcg as always if you're ever looking for any peace july pack codes get them over at card cavern if you're looking of course get any obsidian flames codes get them over there or if you want to get an older set like scarlet violet or celebrations crown of zenith or you want to get some irl stuff too card cavern does so irl Procked over there too. If you get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help a Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin, check them out, and make sure to use code LDF if you get any codes over there. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below too. Every Monday, I post a new video over on their channel, and you can check out the second channel down below for some extra content too. And the podcast channel, the Mental Might Podcast. Me and Linty run a podcast where every Friday we upload an episode of our podcast. But here is the list. This is the exact 60 and I got top 8. Again, this late night tourney had 219 players. It was a fairly large tournament. And uh, this deck is really cool with all the plays it can make. It's also a Judge Path deck, which is one of the things that does make this deck so deadly, is the ability to use Judge with Path of Peak. We all know it's a pretty good combo right now against Xien Pao, you know, against Arc decks if you go first, and against Charizard. So Judge Path is really good in this deck. It's one of the things that makes it so good. Melanie's in the deck. We are, of course, playing the Water Energy for the Greninja, but it does also give us the ability to use Melanie. Another reason why this deck also isn't playing Raihan is because we have Melanie, which is kind of like the same thing. Um, and uh, Double Charon's Care, again, we are trying to be tanky and healing with this deck. Judge Path with Charon's Care is a pretty dirty combo because it means that not only is the opponent barely able to play the game, but they're also going to have a hard time KOing you because you're constantly healing your Arceus and your Regigigas V-Star. Um, this deck is playing a lot of V-Guard, 3 V-Guard energy, but very important to have on your Gigas. Also good on Arceus because it makes it so that Giratina V-Star can't win it KO you as easily. Again, the Jet Energy is really good. Not only is it good with Radiant Greninja to do a Poppy play without having to give up an energy on an Arceus or whatever, but it also lets you um, use it as a pseudo switch option for your Regigigas V-Star after you do Giga Impact. Um, this deck can just play Pelpi to get your Charon's Care back, make it even harder, get Melanie, get Boss, get Judge back. Um, yeah, I think the only thing I'd really want to change about the list after playing it is to put another Stadium in the deck. Not a Path, but like a Lost City or something. Because I found that if you get Path first, you can't play the game as often because you're, you can't do Starbirth. So I definitely think this deck should maybe play like a Lost City or something. Um, wouldn't mind another stadium that isn't a path, but uh, this deck's pretty sick. So shout out once again to Physics AP for getting top eight in the tournament, and let's go show it off. All right, again, this game, not a bad start. We're playing it's a Lost Zone deck. Depending on what this is, we'll see if we can beat it, depending on whether or not it's Giratina. All right, we got Gigas is in there. Yep, okay, cool. All right, let's grab that. Now we just hope my opponent does not path me. If they're playing Giratina and they get that turn one path, bro, it's not good. The problem with Giratina, they always somehow find turn one path. It does, like, I don't understand. So hopefully we don't get pathed. Because if we get pathed, we're probably just going to lose. Like, Because I got really nothing else going on in the hand. Jet Energy would be a nice card to draw. They Iono me, so this is Giratina. Okay, they could still path me, but the Iono's fine. We get a better hand. Maybe. It's a bit better. Slightly better. There's Battle VIP Pass. So we know they're not getting Coal Resistor, which is good. Try to build up Gigas here. We'll see what my opponent grabs off the Battle VIP Pass. Probably going to get... um. 
Two comfies, yep. See if they have another battle VIP off their Iono. Yeah, the thing I just don't want to see, I just do not want to see them put a path to peek in play. They put a path down, this can be pretty annoying. We do not want to see a path come into play. Maybe, I don't know, maybe this isn't Giratina, though. I mean, it probably is. Most Lost Zone Giratinas play Iono. There's no other deck I can think of that plays Iono that uses Lost Zone. This is Lost Zone Charizard. We'll see. I think it is Giratina, though. Most likely is Giratina. Ooh, Mirage Gate, that's a good card. They can't Colrus this turn, which is also pretty good. It is Giratina. Hmm, okay. Giratina's fine. We can beat it. V-Guard Energy is very good in this matchup with uh, our Regigigas. No! How did they always find it, bro? Come on! How, dude? Like I said, they always find the path. They didn't do much, though, which is good. I'm not going to Iono them, obviously. I think we just attach pass. Maybe I should have Skulvid it. Nah, that's annoying. Strong energy, and it's fine. Could have Iono to dig for Jet, but, I mean, they don't have anything going on. There's really no reason to Iono them. Unless they play a Colrus, then I Iono. Probably just going to Flower Select again. Going to have to Iono if I don't draw anything here. It's going to have to happen. If I don't draw anything, we're going to have to play the Iono. Having Skullvid in play is kind of annoying. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they just crammed it. I don't really want I don't want Skullvid to get Sableye. Ultra Ball. That's good. Do they have a Colrus? No shot, right? No. Okay, good. What do we draw? Ultra Ball? It's pretty good. We'll pal pad those back. That's fine. Grab ourselves a Regigigas. And we're going to have to play the Iono. Should find energy off this. If we whiff energy, I mean, pfft, might as well just give my opponent the win at that point. All right, come on, Iono. What do you got? All right, we got energy. Got Raiding Greninja, which I'm going to bench because we could try to poppy. Got the Schmelanie, too. Not bad. All right. Nova Knockout. We can load up the Gigas, and that can KO... That can kill Giratina for Lucky. Would have been nice to maybe get another Gigas down there or something, but that's fine. We'll knock out the uh, Comfy, take our first prize. Let's see. Prize number three is a Path. A dead card. Next turn, I could Poppy and Raiding Greninja. I wonder if that's actually the play. If I draw a boss, we'll go Boss KO Tina V. If we draw... I don't know. I'm tempted to Poppy. A Poppy might be the play, actually. Just knock out two Comfies. Yeah, I'm feeling like we might just Poppy next turn. Be decent, actually. Let's see what they do. I definitely I own them into a Colrus. They definitely have a Colrus experiment, right? No, maybe not. They Flower Select first. I mean, they're going to find one, right? Even though they don't have Greninja, they're probably still going to find a Colrus this turn. We'll see. Boss, not bad. That's a good card to lose. We could Judge, too, if they get a Colrus. Like, I could just Judge them in Trinity Nova, which is also an okay play. But I also could just Poppy and immediately knock out two Comfies. There's a Nest Ball. If that gets Cramorant, we probably go Radiant Greninja. We also could go Skulvit, though. They fail the Nest Ball. Okay. Failing the Nest Ball is interesting. That means they must have Pokemon in their hand. Okay. No Colrus, I go Poppy. Okay, there's Cram. Do they have a Rope? They do have a Jet Energy. Okay. They gotta find a Colrus. If I can boss here, that'd be fantastic. That path is so annoying, though. Because I could have just went Starbirth for boss Gigas. Schnock your Giratina, and it's GG's. They only have one Tina in play. This is a great turn to boss my opponent. I just can't, though. If I had a Bibbrel in play, that'd be nice. We'll see if they do. Well, no, I can't Poppy. I need an energy to Poppy. What am I saying? We can't Poppy just I need an energy. My bad, I lied. We actually need an energy before we Poppy. Forgot about that. Never mind. Okay, if we draw an energy, we can Poppy. Jet energy would be fantastic. They're probably going to spit me here. It's fine. We'll just knock him out. Boss top deck would go hard, so I can KO that uh, Giratina, but we'll see. I don't think we're going to draw a boss, but never say never, I guess. All right, what do we got? The Burl. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to Melanie, I guess. Let's see what we got off this Melanie. Jet energy. Okay, we do have the poppy play for next turn. Which is good. We have boss too. They'll probably get the V-Star though. I want to get a B-Doof here, especially before they Sableye.
Hopefully I don't regret that. I'm gonna get rid of the judge. So I can get Bidoof. It's a ballsy play, but if I don't think they're gonna save on me next turn, so I think we're safe. That was Nova knockout. Kind of wish I had another. Eh, I don't know. Wish I mm, wish I had a gear or Gigas in the active because I can't lost impact for the one shot. Maybe I should have just went Gigas there. To be honest, should have maybe retreated to Gigas. Either way, next turn we'll go for the Greninja Poppy play, or we'll boss Tina. We'll boss Tina if it doesn't evolve, or we'll Greninja Poppy if it does evolve. That's the play. That's the play. Assuming they don't knock me out. They are probably going to get a Colrus this turn, but you never know. They are down an Ultra Ball and a Mirage Gate, which makes it hopefully a little bit harder to pull off and attack this turn if we're lucky. If they go V-Star, I still think Greninja is on the table. I could put 90 on Giratina, though, too. But all I have to do is take two prizes and then, like, knock out Giratina. If they bench Manaphy, then the Poppy plays at the window. But they probably won't see the Poppy coming. Hopefully, they don't get to Sableye this turn. That would be even worse if they Sableye me here, and then I lose my Skulvin and Bidoof. But I don't think they can Sableye this turn. It's super unlikely. Yeah, they're like one off. They got Colrus Comfy that goes to nine. Yes. Yeah, Unless they bench another Comfy, I guess. Never say never. But it's unlikely they can even KO me this time. They don't, I mean, I guess it's not unlikely. But we'll see if they can get the knockout here with the Giratina. We'll see what they got here. Do they got anything? They must have prized like a Colrus or two. Because the fact they haven't played a Colrus yet is bananas. Because they Ionoed, no Colrus. I Ionoed them, no Colrus. Still haven't played a Colrus after this turn either. That's, I, we'll see. That's crazy. That's crazy. See, so yeah, we'll either boss knock out Giratina or we'll poppy. I definitely think I poppy if they don't go Gear. No, yeah. If they go Giratina, we poppy. If they don't go Giratina, we knock out Giratina V-Star. And then we poppy. That's the plan. Really want to get Bibbrel down. They can go like Bibbrel, Roxanne, Sableye. Okay, they do have the Mirage Gate. They could me they they could me. They could knock me out with Giratina V. Right? Actually, Shred does not kill me. I have 170 HP left. That math does not work out. I guess they can Shred Lost Mine, but then if I find Charon's Care, we just punish them. Do they have it? They could just have the knockout, actually. Yeah, they could. I guess. I didn't really consider they're at seven. I guess they could still knock me out, but it's hard to do when they don't have a Colrus and a Greninja to work with. Hmm. I doubt they play another stadium. I would love to be in a world where they did. Ooh, Mara. There's the escape rope. We'll give him Skulvit. Yeah, I'm fine with giving them Skulvit here. I don't really care if we lose Skulvit, so. If anything, I wanted to get knocked out so it doesn't get Sableyed. They could Greninja this turn. I doubt that'll happen, though. Okay, they got the V-Star, so we should probably do the Poppy play. Then we can Poppy knock out double Comfy. I could knock out their Sableye, which isn't even terrible either, to be honest, but I think we just killed both Comfies. Okay. Six. Let's go do this. They ain't gonna know what hit him, baby. This is actually pretty sick. Let's go Greninja. And then we'll Poppy. I wanna put V-Guard on um I wanna put V-Guard on the uh the Gigas if I can. Nest ball. Grab Gigas. I wanna get two in play. It's the bulkiest Pokemon. Alright. And watch this. Moonlight Shuriken. So I can knock out double Comfy or Sableye. They just take out the Comfies, obviously. Yeah, there's no world where we knock out Sableye. That's kind of bad. Sick. Let's go. They could Roxanne. They could have another Iono, but we got Bibberl in place. So that's good. And if they do that, they're definitely not getting to 10 this turn. So we're chilling. Boss. Nice. And all we have to do is knock out Giratina to win the game. And with our current setup, it's looking pretty good. I could have went Skulvit Bibberol there, but I did want to hold the escape rope in the boss. Those are obviously two cards I'd rather play next turn. So I think it's fine to just hold the hand as is. We're in a pretty good spot right now. My opponent hasn't even a, taken a knockout yet. They're drawing like potato, but we just pulled off a really sick poppy play that crippled there. And they just pass. Sick, bro. All right, watch this. We're going to go. May as well keep the energy on the Greninja. We're going to rope. We're going to go rope boss Giratina. We'll hit with Gigas this turn, because they're not going to start Requiem. And then we're going to go Bibberl, Squovit. If they give me the Giratina, even better. Oh, they do give me Giratina. All right, bet, fam. I want to put a V-Guard on, but I doubt they play Choice Belt, so we can probably put the Water Energy on. We have Boss in hand. Like, if they retreat, we just win. Yeah, I think it's fine to hold the hand here. We already have Boss in hand, right? So we have everything we need to win the game, so let's just hit this for... 230. 
Yeah, I guess I could have Skull Vibber Rule, but if, like, I just win the game next turn with Arceus. So they have to move Giratina, but then I have Boss in hand. They could Roxanne me, but it's not looking good for my opponent. They can't one-shot Gigas, right? And there's the scoop. I was like, they're probably going to concede. We're in a really good spot, yeah. They didn't really get the... Their deck didn't really function, but we also were able to do some pretty insane plays with Poppy Greninja, which is awesome. All right, going first. We open up with an arc, but we got no energy, so hopefully we can draw an energy. We do have Melanie, but nothing else going on. Okay, give me an energy, please. No! Ah, the turn one energy whiff. You hate to see it. It's not ideal. Hmm... If I draw an Arceus V-Star, could Starbirth for energy DTE, and then I can... Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. Let's bench Greninja. Pass. Because if I... Okay, so if I draw an energy here, if I draw water energy specifically, we can conceal cards, get a V-Star maybe, or if I draw a V-Star, I can Starbirth for DT energy. Let's see what we're playing against here. It is Charizard. All right. The Charizard. Unfortunately, we were unable to get the, the Starbirth path combo next for this next turn, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Let's see if we can beat Charizard with our Gigas. We do have a lot of healing, right? So that's good. Maybe more healing than they do. You really hope that we can do the do the Starbirth play this turn. I probably should have benched other Arceus too. I think this play, I don't know. I, I should have just gone with Arceus V instead of the Greninja. Greninja is good in this matchup, though, especially if we're able to use Poppy. Okay, let's see if we draw. Nest ball. Nah, it's not happening. Not the V, though. Most Iono. All right, here we go. Can we get a good hand off this Iono? We do. That's not bad. We got Path. I'll wait to do Path this turn. I could Starbirth now for Bidoof. Go grab Bidoof, and then... Yeah. I don't know mind just slamming the path down here. Just be like, yup, you can't do your stuff. I could path and not even do, do Starbirth, but I'm in top deck mode. Okay, yeah, I'll do Starbirth. I'll go... Uh, Bidoof... Judge? What am I doing Sharon's Care next turn either, though? I guess having the Bidoof keeps that option open. It's fine. Yeah, I want to put the path in place, so let's just do this. I mean, I don't know path isn't, like, the greatest combo in the world or anything, but, you know, gets the job done. Gets the job done. We'll see if my opponent does anything off this. Yeah, I think Pathum is fine. We just be like, if you don't got a stadium, bro, you ain't doing anything. And then I can judge Pathum and then make it even harder for them. Would have been nice to KO their Mew, though. No, they have the stadium. No. It's a Meza Goza, too. That's pretty bad. That flips heads. They got into the game. Nope, it flips tails. That's good. I like to see it. That sucks. If they don't do anything this turn, though, we can try again to Judge Path. If I can actually hit Path off Judge. That's probably going to get them an Ultra Ball. Yippers. They get to play the game. Yay. Crap. It was a good shot. We just had to Path and Pray. We had to just Path and Pray. It's not ideal. But uh, that's Arceus Charizard for you. Whiffing the attack there really sucks because it looks like they might not have been able to do anything. They're playing Charon's Care. That's annoying. Good thing that's discarded because now we can two-shot race them a bit easier. We do have Poppy and Greninja, which... Maybe if I save Starbirth, I could have went Poppy Greninja. It's probably not going to do anything. Oh, they have Rickety Pidgey on their hand. Even worse. Oh, God. That's even worse. <sighs> Hmm. It's pretty annoying. There is one play that I kind of like. If I go Reggie Gigas, they can hit it with Charizard, and I can angry whack the Gigas, or the Charizard. That's not going to knock it out, though. 100, no, it's not a knockout. Oh, they just pass. Really? Okay. That's interesting. They pass the turn over to me. All right, let's go Mezagoza. Flip heads. Damn. Hmm. Save the hand. I need to might bench squove it. Hmm. Okay. Let's conceal cards. I could have been rolled first. Should have been rolled first. Could get squove it though. Nope. Okay. 
And I should have bibrolled first there before I Greninja'd. So a lot of energy in her hand. Damn, okay. Let's do this. Yeah, I was thinking Gigas can knock out Charizard. I don't think it can. Because the Charizard hits me for 210. I don't think it's a knockout, though. We have no energy in the deck to search out either. F. All right. Prize number six. Judge. Nice. Now, what are the odds my opponent has another stadium here? Hopefully not. If they have, if I judge him in another stadium, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. Bro should go play lottery. Bro should play lottery if I give him a stadium off my judge. I'm just going to hope they don't find a stadium. There's Manaphy. Dang. No, my Greninja Poppy play that. I probably wasn't going to be able to do anytime soon. <laughs> it's kind of annoying they mentioned that, though. They're probably going to retreat into it, though, so it probably is fine. Oh, they go Arceus. Okay, they pass. All right. Doesn't look like we can Gigas knock it out unless I found Belt, but I don't think I really need to do that. I think we're just going to put that on and just... Nova. I'm not really going to bother doing anything else. I don't really have to... Um, I don't really have to do Iona or Judge or anything. We have Charon's Care, so if they hit me, we can just Charon's Care, so... That's fine. I don't want to give him a new hand. I wouldn't mind killing that Charmeleon, though. I wouldn't mind getting boss. Ideally, we get Squovit off the top deck. I think when I did Starbirth, I should have kept the Nest Ball. Ooh, Choice Belt. Hmm. All right. Nova Knockout. Would have liked to have... Um, would have liked to have got a Squovit. All right, let's go see what our prizes are. <laughs> Hey, we got a Gigas. More energy, too. The more the merrier. We do have the Gigas, which we can definitely try to attack with. It's not the greatest attacker. It is bulkier than Arceus, though. And which, depending on whether the math works out, it could actually be the better card to attack with. There's an Ultra Ball. It looks like our path did them dirty. Oh, they're playing path, too. You know, they're being sneaky. That means they don't have as many outs to path as I thought if they're also playing Path of the Peak. That's really good. Yeah, they just scooped the game up. Path of the Peak Judge, baby. I don't know why. When they did Pidgeot, they could have grabbed Arceus V-Star. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Um, I don't know. We take those dubs, though. Path is just a really good card. I'm playing against Xiang Pao. We'll see if we can beat it. Going second is annoying, but thankfully we did get a pretty good turn one. So it could be worse. Gigas will be good here. Gigas can one-shot Xiang Pao. This might not be... I mean, it could be the Frigibax deck. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm... Let's judge. I can't really play rope because they're just going to knock me out with Palkia V-Star Shampoo. Not the greatest judge. We can bench Bidoof and Gigas. And we can path and then Skolvit. We're going to have to do the old Skolvit play here and hope for the best. Double turbo. I guess I could have... I probably did need to play the path, to be honest. I just wanted to put a path down so my opponent can't do Greninja. Then I get a Frigibax down, which is good. The problem with pathing is obviously I shut off my own V-Star power, but I need to... Disrupt them a little bit here. So I think it was fine to do that. It is Bax Caliber, of course. Shem Pow, baby. Let's go. So yeah, Gigas is the best attacker in this matchup for sure. All right, let's see if we draw. A DTE. Right, well. Squovit it is. Let's see what Squovit gives me this time around. Boss. Good boss, Palkia. Sure. Because they can retreat next turn, attack with Xiang Pao, and knock out my Squovit, and I cannot allow that. They could draw out of this, obviously, but hopefully they don't. Xiang Pao usually tends to brick if you judge path them. I do need to get a top deck soon, though. This deck doesn't really have, like, a great draw engine, though. That's the only problem. Could draw, like, a Melon or something. If I could draw Arceus V-Star and an energy combo, but I can't do that off of Squovit and top deck, so. I need to find, like, Bibberol. That'd be the best card to get is Bibberol. So I want to start attacking. I need to build up Gigas. Regigigas is a really good attacker against Xiang Pao. Because it can one-shot the Champau with its attack that does 230 damage. So, Gigas is a very valuable attacker in this matchup. In order to utilize it, though, I got to attack with it first. All right, they just passed. Nice. What do we draw? Nest Ball. All right, let's go over it again. Here we go. Come on, give me some good. No. Another Gigas. It's going to pass. I'm not going to bench it just yet, just in case. Just, well, I guess it doesn't matter, but mm, whatever. This is unfortunate. We are bricking. We need to find something off Skolvit soon, like a Bibberol or an Arceus V-Star. They get rid of the stadium to get Arceus back. I need to start attacking and dooming my thing ASAP. They only have one Frigi backs in place, so if I can take that out, maybe they can't get back Excalibur online. All right, what do we draw? Another arc. Okay, Skolvit it is. Here we go. Come on, Skolvit. Surely you'll give me something good this time. Melanie, there we go. Can Melanie... 
draw three cards. See what we got here. Nice. Good stuff. We got that. Do that. Oh, it's Trini Nova. I'm not going to bother playing the Nest Balls. No reason to. All right, here we go. We go one, two, two. So, like, Gigas needs three energy. So, we can put, like, a Vigar, another Water on there. But, yeah, it's pretty important we get the first on the Palkia. Path is doing so much work right now. This is why Path is such a strong card against Shampao. Because Shampao sucks when you just put a Path down. It's just, like, the deck, like, can't function. They could still KO me this turn. And, yeah, there's an Escape Rope. That's what I was worried about. Gonna have to give him Skullvit. In fact, they wrote me is interesting. Losing Skullvit's not ideal because we lose the ability to do Nestash, but... I feel like at this point, Nestash wasn't really going to do us anything anyway, so it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We just got to bring in Arceus and hope they don't got it like that. Best case, we draw a supporter. We can go Gigas V-Star. Nope. Come on, Nest Ball for Greninja. Checking my deck here. We have four Ionos. We have two bit roll. Should probably bench Arceus. I need to fill my bench up because I need to. I need an Arceus at least, right? Just in case I top deck the V Star, just in case. Let's put one on the Gigas. It's fine. Could have put one on Arc. Yeah, I guess I could have put the energy on the Arc. We'll see if my opponent gets a knockout this turn. They have no abilities. They did take a prize, depending on what that prize is. We'll see. Because if not, we can knock out the Shampoo here, and we'll be cooking. I don't know. Maybe I should have nestballed the turn earlier. Because, like, maybe Greninja would have been the better card to have in the active there over Squovit. Maybe that was a mistake. Vitality Band. I don't think that really fixes much math. Not really, no. We'll see my opponent. Ooh, that boss. That's annoying. I'm going to bring in my other Arceus. I'm just going to pass. This is where I wish I maybe... Yeah, maybe I should put an energy on. Drew Iono. Do I dare play the Iono? If I Iono my opponent, they basically get to play the game. But if I can get a knockout... Nah, we'll Iono, it's fine. It's not a great Iono. I'm starting to regret that now. Oh, God. That's not good. That was a bad Iono. Alright, let's Bibro for one. Pray that it's a switch. There we go. Jet energy. <laughs> Do I have to put another jet on my arc? I think I have to. That feels so bad. That's kind of scuffed. <laughs> That's so scuffed. This thing has friggin' two double turbos and two jet energies. What the heck? I guess I could have put the jet energy. I could have went Gigas knockout with angry whack, I guess. But I'd rather just use Arceus because we want to save Gigas anyways. So Gigas is more important than Arceus. Yeah, they probably get to play the game. Wouldn't be surprised if my opponent got a knockout this turn. Um, we'll see, though. Yeah, there's the stadium. Lake Acuity. That's really bad, actually. I can't one-shot Shampoo with Gigas. We'll see. They still need the uh, Bax Caliber too. Yep, there it is. Yurda. So, it was good that we Ionoed, because eventually they were going to knock me out. We'll see if they can even get there. Can they pull off a knockout? I think they have it, right? They have three in the discard. Yeah, they can star portal. Sure. And we can hopefully KO Gigas. Well, actually, what am I saying? I can star birth for uh, Path plus Gigas. So we do have the knockout. All right, we're chilling. I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. We do have the guaranteed knockout here with the Reggie Gigas. Yeah, Path thankfully bought us enough time to set up and kind of body my opponent. This is the power of Path, baby. Power Path and Skullvit kind of carry, no cap. Yeah, we can knock out Shampao, Iono them to... Actually, Iono to three is pretty good, too. Especially because they've already star portaled and they have no Bibberol in play or anything. And we get to path them. So I think we're probably... I mean, all we have to do is knock out Palkia and Shampao to win the game, right? So it's pretty pretty easy going from there. And now that they got rid of the stadium, I get Arceus, right? So then I can star birth for what I need. We can knock out this Shienpao. Shienpao, I play Shienpao. I play Shienpao every day. It's my favorite deck. Yeah, Gigas Path, basically all we need. All right, cool, cool. All right. What's our top deck? Iono? Hmm, okay. Is there anything to Nest Ball? I don't think so. Yeah, I've kind of exhausted everything. Okay. Let's go Iono. 
See what we got off Iona before we do Arc. Kind of mid. Um, gonna attach Bibberol to two. Okay, Starbirth it is. I was kind of hoping we would get like something off the combo, but no such luck. Grab the Gigas Pad. We have Charon's Care. So if my opponent hits me with Palkia, we just Charon's Care um, for game. So it's technically GG's. We knock out Shampao. I own it a three. They have no drawn play. They probably can't knock out my Rigid Gigas this turn unless they have like our, the nuts. They'd have to be playing like research or something silly. There's the other Gigas. So now if they do knock me out with Shampao, we can just go Gigas and then just try to draw an energy and we win the game. We still have V Guards in the deck, I think. We can also just boss Palkia for game two, right? So we'll see. No, they have an S Ball. We'll see if I Iona them into a knockout. It's unlikely, but you never know. You never know with this game. You never quite know with this game, right? So we'll see if I gave them a knockout. I mean, it's unlikely. They have no draw engine in play. They'd have to literally have like a research or some crazy draw support. All right, they're super cold. They got one energy. Okay, they do an Iona, but that's only three cards. It's not going to do them anything. It's not really going to help. We do lose the rope in the Charon's Care, but that's fine. There's V-Guard energy. We're close. I can smell it. They might not attack me this turn. So we might not even get to use our thing. I think it's going to see it anyways. I mean, yeah, it was looking pretty grim regardless, right? The V-Guard technically does allow us to just need to find Gigas to win. Still had Ultra Balls in the deck, too. All right, in this game, we do open up with a good enough hand. We do have turn two Arceus. We're playing against Charizard. Going second against Charizard is kind of annoying because if they just get an Arceus and a Charmander, they may as well have turn two Charizard. Not a fan, but we'll see what we got off the Mulligan. Okay. They open up the Radiant Serena. Hmm. Okay, our hand is fine. As long as we don't get Path first, it's okay. And yeah, there it is. Turn one battle VIP pass. Could path him, but I can't afford to, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, as much as I would like to play a path here, I probably can't. They do play the stadium, so I don't know. Maybe I do path. I don't know. If I the problem is if I path and I don't have RC's V Star, and that's a problem. But we are going second. So I don't know. I, why? I don't know, man. It feels kind of bad. Do I really want to play a path? Hmm. We could do a few things. We can nest ball for an Arceus. We can nest ball for a Radiant Greninja. We can Concealed. I don't know. I'm tempted to path, man. I don't know if that's a good idea, but getting the first path down is kind of important, in my opinion. Get a V-Guard on. Um, do we have Bibberal Skullvit, too? Hmm. Like, I just don't want them to have, like, the turn to Arceus. It just doesn't feel good. Yeah, you know what? We're going to slam a path down and pass. We have a real score for next turn. It's fine. We have a good enough setup where it feels fine to path them here. And, I mean, if they have, you know, if they have the stadium, they have it. Because then I can path them again. Because we're shutting off Pidgeot, right? And they stadium first. So I think it's okay to play path down. Just slam it down. I don't want them to get set up. And that's what we're trying to do. It might hinder our setup a little bit. But it's good to let them not get set up. If I had a DT or a Jet Energy there, that would have been nice. Because I could have moved Arceus into the active. So, it's fine. They Iono me. So, they'd have an Iono. So, yeah. It's fine. We got a better hand, hopefully. Let's see what we're looking at here. Hey, that's a good hand. Arceus, Bibberal, Switch. Jeez. it's pretty good. That's really good, actually. If my opponent doesn't have the Stadium, we're chilling. And then we can judge and everything. Oh, we're chilling, bro. Let's see what they do. Do they got the Stadium? No stadium, one time. They have an energy. All right. No stadium, one time. No stadium. Let's go. All right. What do we top deck here? Water energy. So I got to hit double turbo here. If I don't get double turbo, this could get awkward. This could get awkward. They didn't do anything, so I think I still want to judge. I think it's still fine to judge here. I think it's still fine. Just hit him with a judge, and then there it is. DT off the judge. Let's get it. Um, choice belt doesn't really matter in this matchup. Should put on Gigas anyways, though. We'll hold the hand. We'll Bibberal. Another Bidoof. Wouldn't mind getting a, uh... Wouldn't mind getting another Arceus here. We'll go ahead and do that. Or we'll get another... No, we'll get a... We'll get, a, we'll get an Arceus. We probably only need the one Gigas anyways. So, we can Trinity Nova here. 
knock out the Radiant Serena. As long as I didn't judge him into the, the nuts, we're chilling. So let's go do this. The other nice thing is we are getting closer to being able to do Poppy, right? So depending on what I get next turn, maybe we can Poppy the two Charmanders. That would be pretty insane, actually. All right, let's see what prize number three is. Charon's Care. That's good. We can Charon's Care next turn, which is also good. Reset their attack. They're playing Charon's Care, too. I did see when they mulliganed, I did see a Charon's Care. There's the V-Star. Do they have a stadium? Did Judge give him a stadium? Hopefully not. It did not give him a stadium. All right. So, yeah, we can just Charon's Care here into another Arceus. Or, best case scenario, I can go Poppy. Well, let's see what we draw. Looks like we're, go we're going Poppy. <laughs> Was not expecting to draw that, but here we are. This is the reality we are living in. We can Poppy... Uh, sure. I don't know if... I wanted to keep the energy in the Gigas, but it's fine. We could DTE the Greninja. It's fine to put a V-Guard on. Seems like a dumb play. We'll just Hold the hand once again. Charon's Karen, DT are good cards. There's the Gigas V-Star. And we will Moonlight Shuriken. That's insane. Yeah, that's a pretty insane Greninja there. That was a good draw for sure. We will happily take that. I didn't expect to draw Poppy, bro. I was like, we're probably just going to Charon's Care and punch with Trinity Nova. But the game had other plans for me. It's like, no, here, have the Poppy. I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> Poppy Greninja is insane. All right, let's see. Prize number two. Nest Ball. That's pretty good. We do have the Charon's Care. So next turn, we can Charon's Care Arceus after they knock me out. The only downside is I'm out of energy to put on to Regigigas. Unless I draw a Melanie. We can maybe fine, but I have to Charon's Care anyways. But, I mean, for the time being, we're pretty well set up right now. My opponent's in a pretty pretty rough spot. Yeah, they just Trinity Nova. They have no thing in play. The question is, do I want to do I want to do anything else here? Do I want to boss Pidgey? I think we just hit the Arceus. We have to two-shot this thing anyways. We might as well just attack the Arceus. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We'll just Charon's Care. Might have to sacrifice an Arceus at some point. It's not ideal, but it's fine. We'll do this. There's no waters in there, right? We have Melanie, though, but yeah, no waters. There's no energy to accelerate, which kind of sucks. Bibble school bit. Maybe try to get Melanie for next turn. Boss or Melanie are the two cards I probably want to get for next turn. We had boss in hand, I know, but it's fine. Okay, no Melanie. That's fine. We will Trinity Nova here for 180 damage. Feels pretty good. All right, we're chilling. Need to get energy in play. The game isn't over yet. My opponent can still get there, but Path the Peak is just putting it to work. Path Poppy Greninja is just kind of a dirty combo. They're just not able to do anything. Okay, there's Arceus. There's Double Turbo. Okay, sure. Wasn't expecting another Arceus. If they don't evolve that Pidgey, we can boss knock it out and then just KO this Arceus. Speaking of boss, they actually go after my Bibberol here, which is actually pretty smart. Okay, that's annoying. But the silver lining is, because there's no Charmander in play, the Arceus V-Star in the active isn't getting KO'd anytime soon. So, well, this does kind of suck. It's honestly perfectly fine that they're doing this. I am out of Bibberol, so I did discard my the BDU, so we are bibberol -less now. I do want to get energy in play this turn if I can, but I don't want to put the Gen Energy on. Perfect. Okay. We do need Boss to win this game on that Pidgey. So it might be okay to judge. Yeah, it might be okay to play judge here. Might be okay. I'm thinking about it. We need to find boss for game, right? I could judge him in a rare Kenny Pidgey hot. I think I'm gonna judge. Just gotta find boss, because they're probably gonna mention another Charmander too. Didn't get it. We got Pal Pad though. Probably still play that. All right, it's fine. We'll hit. Actually, I probably should have Skulvited. Yeah, I should have went Skulvid there, actually. I don't know why I didn't do that. I do have another Path in hand, though, which is good. So, it might be okay. I do get to keep the Path, which I guess is still good. Come out of Judgment of Stadium. Let's see what our prizes are here. Arceus and another Iono. Yeah, kill my Bibbrel there was pretty good. It's fine, though. And they found the stadium. It's not good. Oh, my God. I judge him into that? Stadium Mercury Pidgeot? Why? 
Oh, God. That's so annoying. Uh-oh. This is bad. Yikes. Still need judge or still need boss to win the game. Which is all we need is a boss, right? We win the game if we can find boss. There's research too. Okay, wow. I literally gave him the four perfect cards. Stadium, research, Pidgeot, rare candy. What the heck, bro? That's crazy. Actually, no, wait, they did they wait no they Pidgeoted for the stadium, didn't they? No, they they kept Arceus. I don't either way, I I I, I judge him into the nuts, bro. Holy crap. Gave him the literal four perfect cards they needed. They're probably not gonna bench a uh they're probably not gonna bench a thing here, the Charmander. If they do bench a Charmander, we can win. We can still path Iono them. Do I do path Iono? I could win the game flat out if I go Skullvit into boss. The odds we get boss off Skullvit though are really low. Oh wait, oh I have V Star power still. Oh I didn't even see that. Oh I stole my V Star power. I forgot we have we haven't done Starbirth yet. Never mind, I forgot. We haven't done Starbirth. Okay, never mind. I I completely forgot we have okay, we have game. We have game. Unless they I don't know. I think we have them though. Maybe they forgot I had V-Star power too. Yeah, I completely forgot. I forgot we put the path down early on. All right, we got him. Let's get it, baby. Yeah, it's a dub. Cool, cool. Okay, never mind. We would have won anyways. Look at that. So even if they owned me, I would have got boss. All right, GG's. That got actually, that got a little bit closer than I thought. I guess killing the Bibbrel there made a big difference. And not having extra energy in the deck could have been a problem too. Um, but we take those. Poppy Greninja popped off. Yeah, no pun intended. Get it popped off. There you have it. That is the RCS Regigigas deck that got top eight in one of the most recent late night tourneys with over 200 players in it. This deck is actually really, really cool. And I honestly enjoyed it. I think this deck does need to play a stadium, though. That's not a path. This deck definitely should play another non-path stadium. Because you saw there against Lost Tina, you know, they found that path immediately and I couldn't do Starbirth. So I honestly wouldn't hate maybe playing like a Collapsed in here, a Lost City maybe. Um, a league headquarters. I think this deck definitely needs to play another stadium, though, for sure. But other than that, the deck was pretty sick, and it was a lot of fun to play, and it is always fun to use Regigigas V-Star, and then, of course, the ability to use Poppy was also cool. We used Poppy a lot in this video. So, yeah, once again, shout out to Physics AP for the idea and the list and getting top eight. Really sick list, and that'll be for me if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 49k subs. Check out Car Cabin down below if you get any codes. Use call the app. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, the second channel. If you want to see me look at all the online tourney deck lists that, I, uh, that were from this tournament, definitely go uh, give the second channel a watch. Check out the podcast channel down below. The Mental My Podcast. Every Friday, me and Linty upload a new episode of our pod. So definitely go check that out, too, and that'll be for me. Bye-bye.